Hello everyone and we're back with another segment of Don't be telling my business Why are you telling my business? Because I can can and I can 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 I can can and I will Child we gotta talk about Portia Williams And her spinoff that Bravo gave her Of Portia Family Matters What I hear on those YouTube streets Is that the producers are not feeling her They are going and complaining to production Well production is going complaining to a true original Bravo The whole kit and caboodle That they don't want to work with Portia no more they, you know, she put them in a very bad situation when she was throwing all these utensils, these nor uh, knives, forks, spoons, plates, mic stands, uh, anything she can get her hands on and throw it at her uh, ex baby daddy head or whatnot, and just just too much was going on. Then they were calling the police, wanted to arrest the baby daddy on what he may or may not have done to contribute to the fight but from where i was standing I, I i saw dennis being held down pent down you know i you know give me some more angles to look at and i did see him try to uh lunge well he thought portia was lunging at him or his mom or whatnot he was trying to protect himself but, but <coughs> before it's all dead and done and said we just saw dennis just getting hammered <laughs> Pretty much, and if he was doing so, that much to a woman, you would have thought a man would have jumped in, even from the production crew or somebody, Simon, you know, whatnot. But it just is what it is. We don't watch the play, uh, we don't watch the fallout, we don't watch the finale tonight. And hopefully, y'all got a chance to look at that, uh, that I put out just re recently, uh, tonight. And, uh, yeah, the streets are uh, ablaze saying that they don't want to take the legality issues that can come with the things that she, uh, let, well, Portia let her cousin say about Dennis and the sexual harassment and, and, um, him fighting her and all this kind of stuff. They just don't want that legality, uh, situation because I don't know why they was trying to get her reunion. We got COVID out here and stuff. So, I don't even know why they wanted to put them together. Or put them on a format. For them to go and tell their size. So, it was an unseen cut footage. That we didn't get a chance to see. And how they felt about everything. Because what I'm hearing out there. Is that Portia can't. Uh, she ain't in good standards with her family. This shit happened in June. Here we are. Seven months later. Nobody's really talking to Portia. And every time they go around. Trying to ask. Can they get somebody to come back for a reunion? All I'm saying, no. <laughs> Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Because how all of them were portrayed wasn't a good look. And Portia, with it being her show on True Entertainment Original, girl, she looked at bad. And it, at the first scene was bad, okay? And it didn't stop there. It just ended up six more scenes being bad. I mean... If you liked the Portia, you came out not liking her for the most part. Because she was just doing too much from the first scene and the very last scene, the finale we saw. Just too much. You thought she was going in there trying to make a blended family. But she came out with the whole disaster where it tore up her family. Even from the point or the stance of looking at it that it was already fragile to begin with. Especially on her uh, mother's side. And then the support they brought in with Miss uh, Aunt Liz coming in now from her dad's side, it it, it wasn't it it was a torn relationship there too, cause Miss Liz wasn't really saying anything favorable, not really, uh, about Portia. You know what I'm saying? She was acting like Portia didn't know anything about the Jose Williams uh, side of the family, and pretty much she was just getting to know uh, get to know Lauren as well. So it's kind of making me think: Was this just a, a prop? Was this just a setup to uh, get Liz to come in and represent the Jose Williams organization, so we can find the real true tea, other than what we can Google and we learned in school about it, and what we saw here in Atlanta and, and really globally uh, about how her father got out there and marched for civil rights with Martin Luther King and how he uh, began the Jose Feed the Hungry organization and all this, that, and the third. You know, a lot of uh, plethora of information is out there if you just go and research and do your due diligence and find out about it. But from how Aunt Liz came on the scene, she was acting like Lauren 
and and, and uh, Portia didn't know a hell of a beans that she needed to come educate them, get her filming time in, and get some donations from the cast, crew, and anybody else that wanted to, you know, give her anything. Because that's what she looked at like to me, a person that was out there trying to represent the organization and get donations. And, you know, she did a damn good job with trying to get Portia to feel bad to donate. As well as, you know, getting Dennis to donate. Getting Simon to donate. You know, for the cause. And it is a very worthy and great cause. But it's just how she went about it. Then she wanted to get her spin on stuff. And I'm like, Liz, sit your ass down. Please sit your ass down. Because you just make it a mockery out of yourself. You p- you're picking at the spiritual leader on how they go and live their life and what their faith is. And then you ordering folks to go do their job and all this kind of stuff. Then you come in like you the matriarch uh, saying, you know, Dom shouldn't have been here. The assistant Lawrence shouldn't have been here. Hell, none of us should have been here if you would want to get to the juice of it. It should have just been Portia, Simon, and baby girl. And Dennis and them having, a, I guess, a, a nice time in Me- Mexico or whatnot. But it was Porsche idea to try to blend her families together, and didn't foresee anything. But that's t- typical Diane's child, you know. Like she has, I'm just totally against the whole family. So I'm like, well, you weren't bringing no insight, no light, no love, no understanding. Why you even stay your ass at home? That's what I was thinking. I'm just saying. But anyway. Uh, that's why they can't get no reunion because none of the family want to be a part of it. Now we do know the brother, uh, Jose, the th- um, I guess was he the third? No, Ho- Jose the second. No, wait a minute, Jose the third, because her daddy was the second, and we had Jose. Okay, so Jose the third, he didn't want to be a part of it, and he had kids, and I'm sure he understands and the formalities and and have a good grasp on the whole Jose Williams Foundation side and stuff. But he didn't want to be a part of it. One cousin, Tarika Ford, she's on these YouTube streets telling her story about how uh, Portia is wrong and how she treated Mama Jennings and Dennis is definitely wrong. And she didn't want to be a part of it. The whole family on Diane's side is a mess. You know what I'm saying? And maybe she is a part of that side of the family, but she just don't F with them. You know what I'm saying? She She's saying Portia and her mama didn't even check on her when uh, her, her mother had passed. And she just found that to be a very, very big disrespect. And she had no love for them. They had no love for her. She had no love for them. So it's just like a messed up, typical family. Dysfunctional family. And unless somebody come correct and try to draw everybody back in. Even if it's just putting your cards out on the table. Let the chips fall where they may. And y'all get some understanding that way. Or it's just going to be, hey, we see you when we see you. If we want to see you. Or we don't. Type of situation. But, you, you know, you try to still handle your reunions and this that and the third and if those who want to come come and partake those who don't you know it, it wasn't like they weren't asked to but honey they saying in them streets uh that nobody wants to come back they don't want the money uh, or anything dealing with Portia because Portia had really pretty much hurt their feelings uh she, she uh, the whole scenery she didn't take up for Storm when Storm was reaching out on her own platform after everything was done and said with taping from the Mexico trip and um pushing you know leaving her out to dry don't want to answer her don't want to answer no questions she's just coming up like ghosts you know what I'm saying Landy she didn't want to try to really repair nothing there made Landy look like a fool hell she made Portia made everybody look like a fool but at the very end in the grand scheme of things she came out looking like the biggest fool so uh personally i don't see well of course she wants the money so of course she wants somebody to come back and do a reunion because that's going to give her more money in the pocket now what if she's going to spread out to her uh, family members i don't know her uh co-workers dom and and uh lauren i don't know you know because nobody's talking around that camp and nobody's willing to come and give their two cents in on how they felt about the whole experience and this that and third so if you cancel the the two-part reunion you ain't gonna have no sense to even have a season two, which I don't even think they're trying to either. Which they don't need to. I unfortunately need to take her little crazy ass tail back to um Dish Nation, see if they can offer her a job, uh, get rid of the brat, you know. But you know, Ricky Smiley kind of like her, but uh, I don't know about Dish Nation, what affiliation they is, because I don't think that's Ricky Smiley's show. But yeah, I said she get back on Ricky Smiley's show and be um. Uh, the better half of, uh, what's his name? The gay guy? Um, dang, I can't think of his name. Gary with the T. 
That'll be his her his sidekick or whatnot. And, and definitely go big and see can she get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta if uh, Bravo will let her back in. But even though they're on the same tailspin about it, I you know, Portia can't handle her anger. And it seemed like she wanted to throw them bowls up there with uh, Dennis again towards the end of that conversation they were having on the finale season tonight. And um, the producer had to run on over there and say, uh-uh, we ain't doing that. It's a female producer at that. And she's like, no, 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 we ain't finna do that. Nope, let's just separate y'all right now. And Dennis like, hell, he gone anyway. And, you know, he pretty much got up and then Portia was still doing that yang, yang, yang talking. They got her in trouble. They continuously get her in trouble. So, she hadn't learned anything, Lord. She hadn't learned anything. So, Portia needed to be on Zeus Network, her and Nene, where they can go fight, carry on. They ain't got no laws over there or get on Jerry Springer or some show like Jerry Springer. Because, you know, Portia, she just can't handle it. I don't know what. She has so much pent up anger in her. And I think it comes from her childhood. That she just can't get it right. That was very, um, what do you call it? That was very sensational. Whoever thought of that key line to put in the last finale, uh, can't get it right. Portia can't get it right. She can't get it right. She's just crazy. I, I, I really, I'm really beginning to think she definitely needs some mental help. She need to get on some medication, and she needs to be checking in every other day. Uh, for her mood swings with that anger because it's going to put her in the grave one day or it's going to put her in a uh, jail cell. One or the other, I can't recall which one would be best for her, but um, <laughs> she, she going to find herself one of them two places because somebody, somebody going to knock her head off from coming out talking to them. It might be somebody in her family or, you know, she's going to be locked away somewhere and it's going to be bad for uh, baby PJ. But Dennis, I feel, is doing the right thing. He went up there and got his some uh, legal paperwork. Portia said she didn't see the paperwork, uh, which we know Portia probably got that paperwork. Uh, she didn't pay no attention to it. She's in her own little world, her own little bubble, and thinks she can run Dennis. And at one time, he probably could. But with the facts being that she's still trying to marry Simon, she's still trying to move on with him, call herself on closed on the house that don't have her name on the deed and we see how that situation gonna turn out and you know Dennis just shaking his head like okay baby you do you but when it comes to our child it's 50 50 you know and he was trying to let her know you know you want not moving fast enough but I'm on the stick because I, I don't like what's going on my mama had to brief me and tell me what could possibly happen this that and the third um and you know I took steps on my own but you say you don't know what the paper said I guess we have to reserve you <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, well, what you trying to do? Take me to court? And then she trying to get all ugly with Dennis and stuff. You don't do nothing. We don't really want it. You don't really want us to get on this camera and tell the truth. And Dennis like, go speak your truth, baby. Go speak your truth, cause I'm gonna back it up with something. I'm gonna have receipts. But if you gonna have receipts, I don't know, honey. But it was like Portia again doing too much, cause she thinks she can handle Dennis. But Dennis let her play the fool. He tried to like give her rope enough to hang herself. And sure enough, she did hang herself. And she's now stuck with no spinoff, okay, no reunion, and, well, not a spinoff, but a, a season two of this ridiculousness we just saw for the last seven weeks or whatnot, and ended up in poor taste and poor uh, behavior and making her look stupider than what she was looking at when she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, but at least she had a little bit of more people wanting to be on her side. And, you know, if you read some parts in her book, I can see why she's acting out a lot. But it still doesn't excuse her behavior. Because if everybody else have issues in their life, that's probably worse than what Portia had went through in her life growing up. If they had to uh, continue to follow the rules of the laws of the land that of which we live in, uh, in on this planet Earth, you, you got to toe the line. You can't just be like getting smacks on the hand because you do these infringements, and then somebody else come behind you do the same infringement, and they get per punished worse. But and they're just an everyday person. Um, it shouldn't be no laws between or distinguish, what do you call it, distinguish, distinguishing between. You know, people that have money versus people who don't have money. People that's in the spotlight versus people that's not in the spotlight. You know, you're doing a fraction. You got to handle it. You got to pay the toll. You got to pay the price. But it seems like people just been like, you know, that shit what she did with Kenya pulling on her hair and all that stuff. That should have took her off the show right then and there. 
But, you know, they, you know, she was young at the time, and she, she was acting crazy on the floor like she had went into a total meltdown, and she got, she sought help. They told her she had to seek help, but she wanted to keep this job. Now she's doing the same shit on her own spinoff show. People don't want to be fooling with those legalities because if you mess around, hurt somebody in production, which they say them streets are talking that you did hurt somebody in production, and they was wanting to sue. And who knows, it might be the same situation with Nene when she brought the man tooth and all like that. They handled it behind the scenes. She got the... She had to uh, probably pay some money out of her paycheck or whatever and give it to the uh, man, the cameraman that she had uh, bumped out his teeth uh, in that show segment that we saw. <coughs> same thing with Portia. We don't know who she hit with all them spoon glass knives and all them stuff she was throwing. She probably had to pay something out of her paycheck too. Uh, so they wouldn't sue, uh, you know, uh, Silver Sue Portia, not, so, not necessarily the network, but it could have went that way too with her suing the network. Cause here what it is, but no Portia doesn't need no kind of reunion for this show. She don't need a season two. She just need to get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta, get back with this nation if they would have her, and possibly get on a network like Zeus, okay, over there where they don't really care if you fight or not or, or, or carry on. And maybe if she gets to get her match made of a bully type matched up with her, she'll stop doing all this stuff. Because you can make your way through. You can't be fighting them around here all the time. You know. Damn. But anyway. That's all I got pretty much. I was trying to set the tone. Or do y'all really think that um, it was right for them not to give Portia a spinoff? Or do you think she's going to get another uh, season two of this ridiculousness we've been seeing for seven weeks? Or should they just go on and let us see by giving her a, um, what do you call it, a spinoff for her marriage? Uh, special. Just, we don't need to see but two. It could just be a two part thing. Just to see if she really gonna marry this uh, clown of a guy. Eeyore. Uh, Gabario. Or whatever his name is. Okay. Just to see if she will. Because she's trying to take everybody out of her family. Like Dennis and the mom that really cares for PJ. And trying to isolate them from her family. And trying to say oh no it's just gonna be you. Your mother and Pilar. That's where y'all gonna be. Because if we have any family gatherings. Or this that and the third. You ain't invited. I'm like damn Portia. What it come, what, what, what it, when, when PJ gets older. Okay. And she want her daddy to come to some of the functions. That y'all are having. What you gonna do deny her. Because you ain't got your shit together. You ain't got your life together. You ain't got no man in your life. Whatever. You gonna deny her having her dad over even if she said dad don't bring nobody i just want you because you my best buddy you my dad you my kumbaya man you know let's just keep your kosher now uh you gonna deny your daughter uh to see her father on her special day whether she's coming out like in a debutante situation or she's going to the prom or she's having birthdays uh, just any celebration that she wants to have both of y'all in the same room and she wants all her family around her both her mother's side and her dad's side you are gonna deny her portion like get it together go take some parenting classes is what you need to do go take some anger management classes and get yourself together because you're trying to just be like a little tornado and only twirl Kenya Moore can handle the tornado thing she already got that uh, uh, sold up, whatnot. But just to say, you know, if you go over that mess on your old job back at Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know we're gonna want to see them talk about you and the mess you don't got yourself into. Okay, without you know losing your shows and all this kind of stuff, and you know whether you got married to Simon or whatnot, and just everything you did on your show, how you you how you single handedly just told this shit up, even though it got ratings, but it didn't give you an opportunity to go back to the table and say. Hey, uh, uh, can we give me another uh, season two, three, four, five? <laughs> can we milk this, you know, uh, train as much as we can? No, can you set it on five? It went off the track. And you had no way of pulling it back together. Then Kathy got pulled back together. Then you're going to come around here and want to take some more things so we don't see it. Uh, the disaster that we end up seeing because Bobo couldn't catch no more footage. And they weren't going to waste their money. Child, play, pay you off and keep showing this stuff and get residuals for it. Shoot. But it just is what it is. So y'all let me know. Do y'all really think Bravo, True Original Entertainment is going to cancel her two um, reunion part series for this show? And in fact, if she's going to get a um, spinoff with 
Eeyore Gavadi are showing them their marriage uh, being taking place. Y'all think that's a possibility? But that's all I got for this video. I'm glad y'all came by to join me and, and listen to the combo of what I was trying to give y'all on this particular subject. But y'all get out in the comments as well. And let me know how you felt about things. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.